I've been sculpting now for over 23 years, and everything I've ever created as a sculptor and peace builder, both in my community and in the world, has led me to this Holos design. It's wonderful. Now do not think it was made in six days, nor in 10,000 years, nor in 10 decillions of years. After six years of leading Jewish-German reconciliation projects, I wanted to express in stone sculpture a reconciliation and peace design. The designs suggest attunement and represent the separation of cultures, yet through attuning and listening with compassion, we can feel our inseparable connection. I felt the Genesis series as a new beginning and carved many both small and large public art sculptures. I also cast the design in bronze and in glass. In 2008, I had the good fortune to exhibit Genesis as a symbol for peace and reconciliation in the Louvre in Paris. Portals are an opportunity that we have in each moment in our lives to enter into a new beginning. So, in these portals that you'll be seeing, I was expressing a portal as an opening with a very tight squeeze. And what that means is, is that you can't take all of your baggage with you. I began the Mana series utilizing the geometric shape of the torus, where I brought a tube of light down through the center, symbolizing the light which feeds the world. This light is the light of love and the light of peace. That's what nurtures humanity. Out of all these sculptures, Holos emerged as a unifying symbol for peace, a rejuvenator of hope for humanity. The design transcends language, religion, politics, and other man-made divisions. I started producing the Holos design in stone and glass with the idea that it would be a great public art sculpture in metal. I designed Holos pendants using the latest technology of 3D printing to raise money for public art. I found people love this design and wearing their Holos, they felt rejuvenated, uplifted, and connected.